this one is definitely going to leave you with some strong feelings. So buckle up, y'all. Oh, shit. (laughs) Am I the asshole for not inviting my friend to my wedding because I didn't want to hurt her feelings? (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) I, 25 female, am engaged to my fiance, Nick, 38 male. And we are getting married in a few months at a beautiful old mansion house, which used to be next to a plantation. It's pretty local to us, and it's a stunning venue. It's been my dream venue that I've wanted to be married at ever since middle school, and I honestly didn't know the history of it until we started researching venues. Just to make sure everyone knows, I think slavery is disgusting and the history is horrible, but I think that we can try and bring good into the world by making happy memories and bringing positive things to these kind of places. I'm not here to debate my venue decision at all. And that's all I have to say. I have a very close friend, Adriana, also 25 female, who I've known since kindergarten and happens to be black. She is a very... She happens to be black? Just say she's black. That is weird. Just happens. No, just happens to be black. Luck will have it. Like, what? Just she's black. Say it how it is. (laughs) She is very active in terms of black rights causes and campaigning and campaigning, which I think is amazing, and I admire her for it. However, I know she would definitely not want to go to a wedding on a plantation, and that it would upset her a lot because she has different opinions from me and feels very strongly about the history of these issues. I decided not to invite her because I wanted to spare her any pain. Adriana reached out to me a few days ago for coffee and asked why she hadn't received an invitation when the rest of the group had and whether I was planning on making a special invitation because she assumed she would be a bridesmaid. I tried to be really nice about it and gently explain to her why I hadn't invited her and told her that I never expected her to come and didn't want to throw it in her face. Adriana burst into tears and started yelling at me in public that why would I get married somewhere like that and why would I exclude one of my closest friends just because I didn't want want her to make a scene at the wedding. She asked me if I would reconsider changing my venue because she would love to come, but I told her that after embarrassing me, I didn't think she could behave at a wedding. I think I just lost feeling in my jaw because I like my jaw dropped so hard. (laughs) (laughs) She left and said that she needed time to think about the friendship, but I haven't heard from her since. The rest of my friend group and family think that I went about everything fine, but maybe a bit harshly, and Adriana just needs time to understand where I'm coming from. But some people who I invited and Adriana knows have RSVP'd no, and I'm worried. Am I the asshole? OP, you are not only an asshole, you should be fucking worried. Bro. You you are... An, a colossal asshole on so many levels. It is disgusting. It's repulsive. <sighs> just the ignorance, right? And like, yeah. I don't know if that's just the white privilege in all of this. I, are they white? Or Do what, we know? I guess the non-black She could privilege. be me. Like, like, you know. She's obviously not black. Yeah. Otherwise. I mean, honestly, we don't know that. But but I, I would, I think it's a fair to venture to assume that she's not. But again, we don't know that. Yeah, I'm going to check comments quick and okay. see if there's anything. Okay. Um, There are a, quite a few comments. Okay. I mean, we obviously not have black, a... Not uh, black. She's white. Okay, she says that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, someone goes, I'll let... Okay. Essentially, I should have included in the post, I'm not black, I'm white. Okay, is got what it. her response And that's is. a fair assumption based on the context that we got. I don't think... I mean... Whatever. We're not going to generalize here. <laughs> We're not going to generalize Holy here. Holy fuck. We're not going to jump to conclusions. But what I will say, what I feel very comfortable saying, regardless of your skin color, is that this person's an asshole and she doesn't give a single damn about her friend Adriana. I'll tell you that much. No. You don't care at all about your friend. You call this a close friend. So oh. close that this friend thinks that they would be a bridesmaid. That is what got me. What? Oh. I'm so... I'm 
what that this is this is how close the friend is that they were expecting to be a bridesmaid to get can you imagine that would be like me not inviting you to my wedding yeah and you're like sorry Alejandra like there's a weird history here and I just didn't think you'd appreciate it so you're just not invited what also the fact that you can acknowledge the dark history of your venue and I know that she doesn't want to debate the venue but like you can't do that you can't just say am I the asshole but this one minor details off limits no no no, no it's no, not no. off limits here it's, it's the whole context of the fucking thing very critical to the outcome here that is like you know everyone can have an opinion on whether or not we can restore a venue that has a dark history and it can be used for a different purpose moving forward maybe so sure but here's the thing you have a very very close friend who you know feels strongly about these things yeah and this is somebody who's been a part of your life and who thought they were going to stand by your side on a very important day for you and you willingly and knowingly chose a venue that would be harmful to them you don't care about your friendship no not at all i think the fact too that she does also try to separate it because it's not just like oh, it's a house on a plantation. It's like mm-hmm. a beautiful old mansion house, which used to be next to a plantation. It's like, yeah. no, 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 sweetie. Like yeah. that was the slave owner's mansion. That yeah. was their house. Mm-hmm. It's not just a whole happenstance. It's the neighboring yeah. farm. Yeah. Otherwise you would say something different. Yeah. It, it was the owner's house. Yes. It, there's clearly a significance to the venue location and it has some type of negative history and i wouldn't even want to get married there like, i wouldn't either i mean like, I, it's hard for me to even put myself there because i wouldn't even want to get married no, there. period no and then if i have a close friend so close like i'm thinking of the grip of people that would be standing next to me on my wedding day and if i thought that any of them would be so hurt and offended by my venue i don't care how great that venue is there's a million other venues yeah so many. Do you know how many mansions there are in yes. this world? And like, oh, it's my dream to get married here. Did she say that? Yeah. Okay. I've been thinking about this since middle school. It's like, oh, and you didn't know the history? Yeah. Also, right. here's the thing. Again, she doesn't want to debate whether or not it's right, wrong. She can't even say that, though. I know. Honestly, she can't. She can't. Uh, she can't. But like, but her I, even prefacing that right. is such bullshit. It's like, bullshit. You can't even say that. That's you like know me, people are going to come for you. Right. Like, oh, hey, I uh, I cheated on my boyfriend like three years ago. Um, we're not going to debate that, but is it, am I the asshole for like breaking up with him? Like that is a critical detail to the whole picture. You can't just say, we're not going to debate this very important detail, but I want to like put that to the side for just one second. If this is your close friend, can't you sit them down and have a conversation and say, Adriana, I know that this is very near and dear to you and that this may be hurtful, but I want you I want to talk this through with you. Here's the situation. There's a venue. Here's the history. Mm -hmm. I know it's not a history that you agree with. I know that it might be hurtful. As I'm saying this out loud, I don't even know why I'm debating having my wedding here. Like, I don't even, like, (laughs) the fact that you're (laughs) saying all these things, like, and you still want to have your wedding there, whatever. But you can at least be like, I'm having my wedding here. It's been decided. I really want you to be a part of that day. And I'm going to give you the option because you're, one of my closest friends yeah. and you're absolutely invited. But I do know that you may have an opinion and that you may not feel comfortable. And if you don't, I'm, I'm sorry to not have you there, but this is the situation. Yeah. Rather than not invite her and make her wonder and feel so stupid that she didn't get an invite. Dude. One of your close friends, one of right? Your close, your friends, close friends. And you can't even talk about these things. If you can't have that conversation, then like, are you really friends? Because that seems like the bare minimum, right? Like having that conversation and giving her that openness, that honesty. Yeah. <sighs> I think she can't have that conversation because in order to have that conversation, she has to admit, she has to admit that what she's doing is not, is yeah. really like just fucked up to be honest. Let's just call a spade a spade. Like mm-hmm. to, she's so scared to confront it. So she's avoiding it. Yeah. She doesn't want to have that conversation. It's kind of like, I saw this quote the other day that said, like, they avoid you when they know they've wronged you. Mm -hmm. Like, people who don't apologize or who don't care to, like, make something right. Yeah. It's because they know how badly they fucked up. Oh, my God. We have both seen that play out. Totally. Totally different people. Yes. And that, I will say, that is 1,000% true. It is true. They know. They thousand can't, percent. They can't, it's 100%. Yes. A million percent true. And in this situation, I think, I really do think that's what's happening is... We're sitting here perplexed as to why you can't sit down with one of your close friends 
and say, hey, this is the situation. Like, I'll sit one of my friends down and be like, hey, I know that you don't love sushi, but we're going to go for my birthday to like Nobu. And like, you're obviously invited, Morgan, but I know you don't love fish. So like, I get it if you don't want to spend money. It's just common decency, right? It's just what you do. The fact that if you can't even do this for like a wedding shows that you either don't care about this friend at all or you're too scared to have a conversation because it it requires an admission of total ignorance or just absolute being an asshole. Yeah, I'm getting I'm getting big self-centered vibes too. Yeah. Yeah. And I get people, you know, not everyone can handle confrontation or yeah. you know whatever, but like I wouldn't even consider this confrontational. Like no. It's just you can start it as an open conversation. It doesn't need to turn into a war right away, right? right? Like, no. I think the fact, too, where she said here, like, um, she asked me if I would reconsider changing my venue because she would love to come, but I told her that after embarrassing me, <sighs> I didn't think she could behave at a wedding. Embarrassing you by having a, a normal reaction in a public place, like, you could have had this at your house. You probably chose a public place because you knew how she was going to react. Yeah. I'll, well, yeah. A lot of comments on this one. Um, People rightfully tore her apart. Everyone picked up on this whole thing. And OP does respond to a couple. Mm -hmm. Top comment, though, is you're the asshole. And then there's this like big, long quote. And it goes, it's my dream to celebrate slavery during my wedding. It's okay for me to do that if I don't invite my black friend, right? That's... I mean, I think that that's what OP is reckoning with. Like, she feels like confronting the situation is admitting that yeah uh next comment goes this comment is disallowed op clearly stated she's not here to debate her choice of venue (laughs) you are required to agree that her choice to have the wedding on a plantation is fine because it's her dream next comment i don't know about you but my son's bar mitzvah reception next year is at auschwitz yeah (laughs) that is so like (laughs) (laughs) but it is that is that is the reality. Like yeah. people were murdered on plantations. People were enslaved for hundreds of years, beaten, tortured, killed, yeah. separated from families, raped. Mm-hmm. Like it is not some light history that, oh, but it's a beautiful house. So we're going to lighten the mood by having a wedding. Yeah. Yay. Yay. We're going to rewrite the history. Do you know, do you know, like just the, just the juju that's there? Right. There's a lot of square footage in this world. So oh, there's a lot of real estate. real estate. Like you, let's just, let's just chalk that one up as an L. Let's just leave that one. It's, we don't need to reinvent the wheel. Just leave that one there and move on. <laughs> Find another venue. I just, <sighs> I I can't even, the devil's advocate me and tries to like rationalize and I'm just not even going to give this person that charity no. today. Like no. just, you're an asshole. I'm sorry, you're an asshole. I can't think of a single situation I could ever be in mm-hmm. where I would willingly, one, choose that venue, but that's not up for debate. And two, do that to my friend. All around, you don't care. You honestly deserve n- no shows at your wedding. Sorry. I don't mm-hmm. wish poorly on anybody, but this person just it needs to get a grip on reality. And that if this is how you treat people, you will not have anybody standing next to you on your wedding day. No. And I love that people are are already RSVPing. No. That's beautiful. I think too, like, I love the fact that, you know, you know, things are headed in like somewhat of a right direction when you have big companies like Pinterest and which... I'm probably saying that wrong because Justin debates me. No, Pinch- I, I like the way you say it. He says Pinterest. No, it's Pinterest because the word interest is technically when people say interesting, that's not how you say the word. Interest. It's interesting. Thank you, no, but Justin, if you hear this. Justin, I will voice note you later. Yeah. We, I will <laughs> Just send it. Pinterest. Pinterest. I'm going to. Um, But <laughs> the fact that like there's big companies like The Knot. The Knot makes a lot of money every year promoting wedding venues having them on their website, this and that. The Knot and Pinterest both are not promoting plantation venues. Amazing. Took them off. Yeah. They're done. Good. And maybe, I'm sure there's some that slip through the cracks, but like to take that stand says a lot. I agree. And so it's like, that's great. I love to see that. But let's get into some OP stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's dive in. Um, So someone goes, you're the asshole. If you're not black, 
You don't have a right to celebrate and bring happy memories onto their history. Yes. That land is significant. And as someone who's not affected by the legacy, you don't get to decide how healing happens. You're totally out of line. And that's the comment she responded to and goes, I should have included in the post. I'm not black. I'm white. Totally missing this person's miss, whole point. Miss ma'am. Miss ma'am. Like just literally you walked right into the point. You there. walked right into it. Oh, she Next. just <laughs> doing no favors for herself. Uh, she did reply to the top comment about like, it's my dream to celebrate slavery during my wedding um, and yeah. goes, it definitely wasn't my dream to celebrate slavery because I didn't even know about the plantation until last year and I won't be celebrating anything about it during the wedding. And someone goes, what? your post says you've known about it since middle school. OP, I've known about the house. I wasn't aware of its history as a plantation. Okay, but now you do. But now you do. So let's realign expectations and move forward with this newfound knowledge. <laughs> like, I don't get it. <laughs> it gets worse. Okay. So the person that posted, like, if you're not black, you don't have a right to celebrate and bring happy memories. They respond back to OP and they go, that's exactly my point. You're not black. You can't celebrate on historically significant land and reclaim that land yep. for positive purposes when it's not significant to you. And OP goes, there are people of all races coming to my wedding, including black people. I just didn't invite Adriana because I knew that she specifically would be uncomfortable because of her views. I, okay. Sounds good. Someone else goes, just to clarify, the mansion on the plantation is part of the plantation, <laughs> often called a plantation house. I'm betting the name of the venue includes that wording. It doesn't have that in the name, and I had never actually visited before. I think but now you know. I feel like sis here has to just like... Wake the fuck up. Just take the L. Just say thank you so much and just see yourself out. Like <laughs> it's like the fact that she's going to war with all these people. Like yeah. she thinks she's doing something here and she's just simply not. Nothing. She's doing quite the opposite. And I, I'm almost... I almost dare I say feel bad for her because it's like she's so <laughs> clueless that she doesn't see. She doesn't get the point here. Yeah. You know? It is quite wild, isn't yeah, it? Like, yeah. Like people of all races are coming to my wedding. Oh my God. Do you God. want an award? Do you want a cookie for being inclusive? <laughs> you had a quota you had to hit or something? Did, like, did, did you have a diversity quota? Did uh, Also, what? Okay. Also, whatever. I would never like... <laughs> I don't know. I guess like for me, I'm like, there's so many other ways you can like relate this. Like, oh, I'm having a wedding somewhere in Oklahoma. Oh, it just happens to be one of the nights for the Trail of Tears. Yeah. <laughs> like I would never. The way you said that. I just, I just, I'm, I'm really mind blown by this whole thing. Yeah. But as a wedding guest, like we have a friend that's getting married in less than a month now and we're going yeah. to this venue and stuff like that. And it's like, I would never in my head think I need to research someone's wedding venue before I go there. Oh. So it's like, yeah, you have all these people of all different races that have, have maybe RSVP'd. Probably didn't yes. even think twice about your venue. I don't, I don't, speaking of, I don't even know where her wedding is. That's how <laughs> like little I look into venues. I might show up and be like, I'll be damned. i like, <laughs> where are we? Like, I, I have no idea where her wedding is. I just know a place and a time and I'll be there. Yeah, correct. I just know the general vicinity and that's, the date and I'll show up. And that's how most people are. I would never think like, oh, I need to research this venue to make sure like no. I'm go not going to correct. like a haunted fucking house. Or yeah. I'm not going to a plantation or I'm yeah. not going to a concentration camp. Yeah. I would never in a million years think I personally need to do diligence no. to research the venue. Mm -hmm. That's on the people getting married. I agree. I'm not diligent in your venue. I'm sorry. I've got other things to do. So, yeah, I was thinking that too. Half these people probably don't even know. They don't even know. What the history is. No. You're not. I'm sure you're not advertising it. Oh, my God. Um, if you are, then Jesus, you're even dude. more clueless than I thought. So, this came up on my For You page on TikTok a couple months ago. Maybe weeks ago now. I, my sense of time is really Me bad. Me too. But it was um, a black creator highlighting the fact that there's people on Airbnb offering up places to stay that are on plantations. And one of them was actually old slave quarters. Like the houses? The houses that the slaves were in-housed in. And they remodeled or whatever, added, like added plumbing and shit. And they were advertising it as 
Literally, come stay on the plantation and stay in old slave quarters. Airbnb was on. It was on that? Airbnb. So this guy, this black creator went on like, like shed light on it. Obviously, people responded in uproar. Airbnb has since removed listings that are associated with plantations. Yeah, as they should. But the fact it was still up a yeah. couple weeks ago, 2022. Yeah. I mean... There are, are, unfortunately, a lot of ignorant and uneducated people in this world, mm -hmm. and especially still in 2022. And that's not an excuse. But I, the problem that I have with this whole narrative with Dream Girls Wedding is you're like acknowledging this terrible history and you're acknowledging it's like no better. So do better. You, you know, so like correct yourself. Mm -hmm. Why are you adding to this fuel? No. Don't support this venue. No, and I did find the TikTok. The username is Lawyer Winton. So Lawyer, W-Y-N-T-O-N. -N. I'll post the link in the description for this episode. But um, it is a Panther Burn. It's at the Panther Burn Cottage at the Belmont Plantation in Greenville, Mississippi. So it's called Plantation. Okay, so the guests know. Yeah. This is an 1830s slave cabin that is up on Airbnb as a bed and breakfast. How do I know that this is slave quarters? Other than just using my eyes to look at it, well, they say it in the listing. Oh my god! Oh, this is the Airbnb. Yeah, thing now. this okay. is the listing. Okay. Um. So like, there's reviews from like guests. Memorable. Highly recommend watching the sunset. We stayed in the cabin, and it was historic but elegant. Historic. What a delightful place to step into history, southern hospitality, and stay a night or two. Are people serious? They're serious. Yeah. And so Airbnb has since removed properties that formerly housed the enslaved and they have no place on Airbnb. But, um, wow. Yeah. It was really wow. bad. The description he, in the TikTok, he posts the description of, you know, what it is. And there's pictures of what they were posting on Airbnb. And it's just, it's crazy. But I will post, um, I'll post the link for the, TikTok that's from him because it is educational and I'm I'm glad Airbnb took off all of those listings because that's you shouldn't be able to profit off of like that at all and like using that in your in your promo is really fucked up 